Very, very common. We uh, And we certainly see things in trends for whatever reason. But uh, Mother Nature never made the dog's knee to, to survive as long as it did. You know, unfortunately, wolves out there only live three or four years. It's a tough life uh, living out in the wild. And yet we've got our pets living 15 20 years even sometimes and so their their joints get degenerated and the dog's knee is probably it's comparative to the human shoulder you know it's just not a, a strong joint that problems happen now a common injury in uh, human athletes is the acl tear or the mcl tear there's two cruciate ligaments inside the knee and uh, you know every single major sport has uh, uh, acl and mcl tears um, while well, it's the exact same lig- ligament in dogs and uh, they either do it acutely so they're they're jumping off the couch they're jumping up in the air to catch a frisbee they're flying you know through the the, the park and they they twist their knee because the grass is kind of wet and they come up lame. They yelp and they come up lame. That's an acute injury. It just happened. Get yourself to the veterinarian ASAP. Get on some anti-inflammatories that the veterinarian prescribes. And then the veterinarian will, will do whatever is needed to diagnose that problem. And then the other issue is sort of chronic, slow. The dog is 7, 8, 9, 10 years old, sometimes a little bit overweight. And they just have this on and off again waxing lameness. Um, and then eventually it goes from 10% torn, 20% torn to pooch it just goes it's you know pardon the pun pooch it's just done it blows completely and now they're really sore they go into the vet and then i say oh i'm sorry mrs smith this injury actually occurred six months ago and i can tell by palpating the knee and feeling this arthritic uh, arthritic problem so there's a lot that you can do to avoid it or at least reduce the incidence uh weight control is by far the biggest thing that you can do a healthy uh, uh weighted animal is an animal that's going to live a lot longer and have a better quality of life. Um, you want to continue allowing them to be athletic and, and jumping up for the frisbee and chasing the ball. But, you know, we as humans would never have a nap, get up, and then start running down the street as fast as we can. And yet our dogs do that. They sit around, they lie down, they, they sit in front of the fireplace, and then we open the door to the backyard and they go flying out. So we got to remember to actually kind of get these dogs to walk around a little bit if you go to the park and you got a leash free park in your area hopefully um don't drive to the leash free area and then walk 10 feet out of your car and then let take the leash off the dog that dog's gonna go flying he's gonna see his buddies he's gonna run as fast as he can um so instead take him for a 10 minute walk around the block first you can't get him to stretch you can't get him to cross train but you can at least get him to warm up things like that will make a huge huge difference how long do you think doing something like that could add to the uh to the length of uh of having good you know muscles um you know i guess it's, it's hard to say if a dog blows his knee he's he's probably gonna blow it anyways unless it's from like a fall down the stairs or a hit by car injury that sort of thing if he blows it just because it's degeneration and he's he's eight years old or he's seven years old and he's overweight and it just goes it's gonna it may happen regardless but you could add three four five years onto the uh, occurrence of it um and also the other issue too is if you have a a healthy dog that's that's strong and muscled um and they still blow their cruciate ligament their recovery from surgery is going to be 10 times faster and 10 times better.